Hello and welcome back to Wor Don't Starve Workshop Spotlight. And in this shop spotlight episode, we shall be doing. Let's see. The Undead Wilton. Rattle, rattle, rattle. His brittle doesn't starve and reincarnates. Let's go. <clears throat> Wilton was actually a character who has, like. Who was going to? I think he is slash was going to be released in the future update of Don't Starve, like not a mod, because he has, you know, sound. F what the shit happened there? What was that? Now I guess this game, this makes it easy. You'd you'd think, oh, he doesn't need food, so it's easier. But his sanity is thirty-five and his health is thirty-five. So this guy's gonna go batshit insane really quick, and he's slow as hell. If you wanted a hardcore character, you couldn't get any more hardcore than this guy. If he had food, I, f <coughs> if he had low hunger, this guy would be impossible to play with, because you can't catch up with any of your your food. But I have to give credit; they actually did have, they do have really good sprites for this guy, and they make it easy for you. With carrying the eye bone and the bo bonerang. I still haven't tried this. Let's go. How do you do that? Oh my god, that almost killed me. That almost fucking killed me. What the shit? That's bullshit. Okay. Oh god, how do you do that? How do you throw it? Uh, what? Oh yeah, he reincarnates. Oh, I'm stupid. So wait, I'm I'm gonna spend an episode trying to figure out how to do this. So uh, now there we go. It seems like you either have to hold space or click one click as soon as it gets to you. I don't know. I tried them both out at the same time, which was kind of stupid. Where's Chester? There he is. I'm gonna go get him. Wait, is he coming to me? No, he's not. Let's go get Chester. <coughs> Talk about an unsanitary death right there. But uh, I guess that's part of the course with this. Oh yeah, uh, if you watch the last mod spotlight, kind of a bug here where you can find the pickaxe that Steve has at this in any save. So you'll end up picking up an infinite pickaxe just out of sheer luck. Which is okay, I guess. But it kind of removes said difficulty of the game in some regard. And I'm not picking up that seed. Most of my common don't starve instincts tell me to pick up that seed because I, I love to eat seed. <clears throat> Give me your seed. But unfortunately for this episode, I am a dead, dead man. So dead, couldn't be any more dead. I wonder how many times this guy reincarnates, or if he can even die. It doesn't seem like he'd be able to die if, you know, he reincarnates all the time. Uh, I wonder if anyone will care to elaborate on that with me. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, so that seems like a good, good place to set up shop. I'll tell you what, one thing this game could do with is a seed generation. I don't know if that's possible due to how the game's programmed but if you had seeds like you do in minecraft you'd be able to get a de- oh there's Chester you teleported but if you could get seeds maybe you could like you know you've played the seed and you're like oh this character could have done better here you could use the same seed and just do the same thing except with a different character or you could swap out the characters, but then that would be super OP. Trust me, I know. I've used like I've played those like three OP characters as of current, currently. I meant to say. <coughs> okay, so we better get making some tools quick. What? I haven't even got a stick yet. What? Uh. Equip. Let's get chopping some trees, eh? Oh, wait, let's let's see him talk. Uh, click, 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 click. 
No, that's nice. At least he has custom dialogue, aside from the fact you don't need dialogue for this guy. Because he is, in and of himself, just a bag of bones. A dead person walking. I wonder if you walked up to one of the skeletons you find with a bunch of items around him because he just actually talks to him, like, telepathically, like, um... Uh, is it Dem or Rem from Breath of Death? Because he can use tele... Te he uses telepathy to talk. Which was... which is cool. And that game's pretty cool, but I haven't really played it. I've finished Cthulhu Saves the World, but we're talking about a different game here altogether. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you. I wonder what this guy's like at parties. You know, goes for a drink. It all just spills out onto the floor. Through his ribcage. <coughs> Doesn't really get drunk or anything, because... You can't really look deeply into his eyes. I mean... Look at those eyes. They just draw you in. And apparently his skull can move. That's why he's blinking right now. Which is weird. My god, this perspective right now. Ooh, graveyard up ahead. What the... Stop moving for a second there. I guess the reason they give you Chester is because you're in tune with the dead or something? I don't know. Anyone care to explain why they think Chester is here? <coughs> I'd be glad to hear your comments. Um, why do I have berries? Uh, you can't even eat. Wait, how the hell are you supposed to- Oh, yeah. Sorry. I just thought to myself, how are you supposed to heal, but then you, c you can kill spiders, but then you've got to be really good at killing spiders, because as you can see, you've only got 35 health. Which is bullshit, and it's not bullshit at the same time. Because you can just relive, or reincarnate, if you're of a religious aspect. Oh god, caves again. I'm not going in there. After what happened in the last showcase. Anyway, I'm doing pretty fine for the first day. Good old Chester here. Wonder what he says about Chester. Ellipses. Wouldn't it be funny if you met someone who, every time they were going to use the ellipses, you know, punctuation, they actually said it or wrote ellipses instead of the three dots. I mean, that won't be funny, that'd be goddamn annoying, but it'd be different. <coughs> Strange, but unique. I'd, I'd say. You can't really hate a guy for having his own way of doing things. I mean, hell, I saw the hate, the guy who had the My Little Pony character installed, not installed, oh. Let's set up a camp. Hello, Chester's gonna fall asleep. Good boy. <coughs> Yeah, the guy who uploaded a my, uh, Twilight Sparkle to the Don't Stars workshop, he got quite a bit of hate from some of the anti-bronies on the workshop. But, like I said to the guy who made, like I said in the video about the guy who made Steve in Minecraft, anyone who makes a mod deserves credit. Cause modding is hard, we all know, that. you should all know that. Oh, one sec, drinking my Pepsi Max. There we go. Yeah, how gentlemanlike of me to belch into the microphone of a video. Uh, in a, during a video, I mean. But anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Just because someone likes something different, doesn't mean you have to hate them. I mean, I'm not a particular fan, or I'm not a fan full stop of My Little Pony. But, eh. Free world, man. You can do what you want to do. I mean, hell, look at me. If it wasn't a free world, I wouldn't be doing this. And if it wasn't a free world, no one would be doing YouTube videos. Because we'd all be enslaved by the evil government of the world. And David Cameron removing all the porn from the internet. <laughs> Political views, everybody! On a Don't Starve video. <coughs> Fuck me! My cough is killing me! I wonder how it feels for... 
Wilton right now to not have any lungs when I'm coughing my guts out. <coughs> oh, Christ. Ooh, let's see what pig will come across. Olive? It's a girl? Ooh. Well, actually, Olive can be a boy's name. Or, oh, as Courtney says, every name can be a boy or a girl's name. And that is not an impersonation of her voice, I'm just saying it in my voice. For being a posh twat. Like all British people. Ah, Christ almighty. Ooh, a path. And a gateway to oblivion. I think if we take this, all our sanity's gonna drain in seconds, so let's take it. Ah, actually, let's get these carrots. I don't need them, but I just wanna enslave. I just wanna. Ooh! What do I say about the pig king? Uh, still doesn't beat Suzette. Nothing can beat Suzette's opinion on the pig king here. Diabetes. Diabetes. Oh my god. His name starts with W. We should we should create that character. Any mod who any mod maker for don't staff who sees this, make a character called um, Wilfred Brimley. Make with Wilfred Brimley. That would be so funny. If you got type two, I don't also have diabetes. I mean, I've got type one diabetes, so no laughing matter. But I decide to have humor with what I've got. And why am I on day three? Oh yeah, I died. That's strange. I'm gonna die again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's go die and see what happens. Come on, come on. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. If you let me kill you, let me. <laughs> Moan. I'm sure he's having a fun time. Oh, for God's sake! You know what? Fuck this boomerang. Ah, God damn it! Oh my God. Does he really reincarnate every time you die? My god! This is like the most OP character of all! I know I just said that he is so. I wonder how he works in adventure mode though. Because you know when you go to adventure mode you, res you have to respawn outside the adventure mode dungeon? But if you don't technically die because you respawn like you would in um you know, regular mode. <clears throat> With a, you know, like a, a statue. Oh, piss. Then, how does that work? Uh, mo moderator, if you're watching this, can to explain? Not moderator, mod maker. Oh, God, I've got to find something to hit with this thing. I want to know how you hit someone with this thing. Oh, oh piss! He dropped a morsel. <laughs> you can use this as a way of teleporting around the world. It's that funny. Anyway, I think that's been enough. Actually, you could cycle through an entire year just dying constantly. That's cool. Oh, for God's sake! Catch the fucking boomerang! Ah! Oh no, that's just OP as hell. Spawning with a breezy vest. What what the shit was that? Oh, it was a mushroom. Uh, how do you do? How do you? I wonder if he spawns with different things every time, because that's, that's a replica of what I had last time. Hey caramba, there's no room for error in this game. Okay, so hold click kills me. Well, that's just great. Oh, so I found out how many times he dies, guys. He dies that many times. Uh, just keep an eye on that. Okay? Okay. See you guys in the next mod spotlight.